fun. Woo! It is Feng Shui Friday. It just rhymes, so that's why I did it on Friday. I'm like, gee, I wonder if they'll be able to remember when it is. <laughs> <laughs> because everyone's always asking for Feng Shui information, and I do Feng Shui plus a lot of other stuff, but to me, everything's Feng Shui. And Katie and I were just talking a little bit about um, how feng shui is everything and how it fits in your life. So this show is on what? Cinco de Mayo! There's fire, right? I should have a sombrero. I don't have a sombrero, people, but I do have my margarita here. Salute, okay? Just wait for the show to be kind of over to see me sip it. I won't. I have just water. Oh, I have that, too. Cheers. Got it all going on. Awesome. Okay. This is Katie Weber, and we always have fun together. I do black sex. She does classical. Um, they're more alike than different. And we both studied with masters. One reason I love to interview Katie, because I know she's a real deal. There's a lot of people running around reading a book. Not this lady. So let's just let you take it away, and let's just kind of get in the flow of this on how many ways feng shui fits in your life and what, what we're all going through. Oh gosh, you know, uh, I don't think there's any way that feng shui can't fit in your life, honestly. Uh, you know, from whether it's the color clothes that you wear, um, if you are a, uh, if, you're, if you're looking in the market for a new car, why not buy a car that's, that's beneficial for you. Why not buy a car that's in your wealth and success color? Or if you're a minivan mom, get your minivan in, in the color of your relationships because you're all about family and taking kids to soccer practice and all that good stuff. So there's really not anywhere that you can't put feng shui in your life. I, I brought feng shui to, to jewelry. So this is a piece of mine. And if you can see it, it's Pave Crystal. Beautiful. It's a triple eight that I designed for Home Shopping Network. And I, cause I believe, you know, absolutely. It could be your jewelry. It could be your car. It could be your desk, right? I bet, I'm sure that you picked that green color that's behind you, Brenny. I'm sure there's a story about that color. There's nowhere that you can't add a touch of feng shui to. Well, and it helps you to understand people because just knowing feng shui, you know I must like the color of a wood element. So I'm either water or wood somewhere in there uh yeah i'm a wood element i'm a thunder trigger i'm get over that what i love about feng shui is it it helps you in so many ways people think that you just study feng shui to just become a consultant and I, that's not why i studied it i studied it because i found it so interesting and it made sense to me and i'm like wow so i can move things around which makes sense to have a nice flow to things and put different colors because it's frequency. I'm a geek. I like physics and science. So feng shui was right up my alley. I'm like, what? This is so interesting. And there you go. You don't have to be a consultant because the things we're talking about isn't really being a consultant. It's just understanding people and yourself better. I love that you mentioned that because yesterday, so I, uh, I have my class in, I have got my class in uh, September here in Austin where I'm training uh, feng shui consultants and a lot of that training is involved around business. And I'm glad that you mentioned that you don't just have to be a straight up consultant because that's actually not what I wanted to do either. And I really wanted to uh, be able to kind of expand the reach of feng shui by getting it out to everybody that, that so they can use it. And that's why I decided to publish my newsletter. But yesterday I had a call in hours. So anybody who is interested in coming to my class, if they had a question they wanted to ask me or they wanted to talk to me personally to know, you know, most of the time I'm just an email in someone's inbox, but I wanted them to be able to, sometimes you just need to talk to somebody just like you and I are talking. We talk via email and messenger, but there's nothing like seeing somebody face to face hearing their voice, connecting with them. And that was one of the questions that I got, I bet three times yesterday from, from people who would like to come to the class who said, but do I have to be a consultant? And I said, no, absolutely not. In fact, learning feng shui is a life skill, right, Brittany? It's a great life skill. Every day, constantly learning it from different perspectives. 
just understanding some colors to bring in how my mom's health is doing. You know, bright flowers, it perked her right up. I use aromatherapy, guess what that is? That's plants and herbs, anything to change a frequency. But the thing about it is, is like how many people love interior design or they like real estate staging or they just like working at retail stores and they always have the best displays. Guess what that is? That's fun choice. Absolutely. And, you know, and you don't have to be a consultant. I have people who came to my class. Well, I have one woman who came to my class. She wanted to get married. She was determined, bound and determined. I'm going to find a man. She's like, I'm done with the single life. And she came and that woman committed herself to all the feng shui principles. And guess what she is today? Happily married. And she not only found someone to marry her, but someone that, who loves her, who she loves, that someone makes her happy. I mean, you know, that's, that's a fabulous thing. I had another person who came to my class because they simply felt like life had dealt them some bad cards. And they'd had just one bad experience after another. And they're like, there's something I need to do. There's something more. And this is, you know, this is where I love feng shui. Because you can twist yourself into a pretzel dieting, working on this, getting your mindset, blah, blah, blah. And all that stuff's important. Right. But then sometimes you go, oh, I've done everything I can possibly do. What else could I do to affect change? Something I want to get unblocked, unstuck in my life. And your surroundings is, is such a great place to start. Sometimes it isn't something that you do. It's something where you are. And that to me is such a beautiful part about feng shui is that there's so many levels too, Katie. There's oh. so many levels. Like I really, really love the five elements and I love that medicinal aspect of it, of what foods to eat, like it's springtime or wintertime, what foods, what exercises, what organs to look at. And it's like, I just find it so interesting and it's really helped me communicate with my acupuncturist. Like I had Lyme disease, you know, and I knew what it impacted on your body. And I went and I was looking at some stuff from Nancy Santo Pietro because mm -hmm. she did lots of stuff on vibrational medicine. And it was like, I would go and say to him this, oh, you're putting it in my liver, huh? Because I knew what meridians he was doing. Mm -hmm. So it helped me help myself be healthier. I just find it so interesting in anything you can do to improve yourself or your family's health. I mean, we still look and say it's miracles. I can't believe it happens. We were just talking last week about it. It's like you give someone advice and you know it works. And then when it does, you're still like, isn't that amazing? <laughs> That's what oh I my gosh. What am I? It's so funny because, and you know, here, I love this example too. We need to be there as feng shui consultants for each other too. Because I talked with a trained feng shui consultant. It's a great story. Can I tell a story? Go oh, for We love okay. stories. Okay, good. I'll so, straight to that. <laughs> hey, half one Happy single <laughs> tomorrow, everyone. Yeah. But yeah, the, um, so this consultant, uh, she wanted to coach with me, be a business. She wanted me to coach her in business. And I said, well, you know what? Uh, I, I want to take you on. But one of the things I want to do is I want to, let's look at your house. I want to look at your house for you because even the sharpest knife can't carve its own handle, right? right. A doctor doesn't go into surgery on himself. No. Nope. So we can see things to an extent. We're always going to be a little blinded just by our closeness to something like we can't see our own nose. So this consultant, when I was looking at her, her, um, her house, I said, Oh my gosh. I looked at the, the second floor. I said, I said, have you had health problems? Are there any issues uh, with, around your health? She said, I just lost a baby. And I said, wow, that's, I said, okay. And she's, and I said, well, here's, here, I think I know what it is. And she said, well, what, what is it? And she said, cause my husband and I have been trying. I said, your bed on the second floor is on top of the fireplace. Mm. On top of the fireplace she said oh my god she goes my sister-in-law was pretty far along and my husband and i went on a cruise and she stayed to house sit for us and she lost the baby two babies in one bed 
And just yesterday, I was riding with her, and because uh, she's coming to my class, and she said, uh, she said, "Oh my God!" Literally within two weeks of moving my bed, I was pregnant again, and now I have this beautiful little girl. And it's it's remarkable. So you know, even being in a classroom where you can get others' insights, working with other feng shui consultants, that community is a big thing. It really helps. Oh man, it's fun. Like, you know, I work with James all the time and I love working with you. It's like you call each other up because you're always going to get come into situations where you haven't, like I saw the world's wildest floor plan. I'm like, who would better be careful for your husband made that floor plan up? And then they're shocked when you say like, well, everyone was sleeping outside the grid. Like I said, so nobody's sleeping in other words. And I find it amazing as a feng shui consultant when I do these, and I do mine remote. I live in a small town, and I like doing them like this. Me too. And it's like they'll say no health issues. Nope, they really have no issues. And then you'll start talking to them, and it's like, well, no, cancer's pretty big. Oh, mastectomies, that's pretty huge. And it's like amazing. And that's kind of what we're talking about, Katie, too, about how you talk to other feng shui people because you get used to that frequency. So they, they were used to being sick, so they didn't even think of it. And I'm like, oh no. So I love that it's a map of everything in your life. It's like, oh, okay, well, need some money. Let's go look over here. Right. <laughs> a treasure map is what it is. It's like, oh, I think I'll stir that up. Need a little love? I think I'll go over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you know, um, there's so many times when I think about uh, how dramatic uh, things can happen. It's interesting that you mentioned about illness. A lot of times people don't recognize illness. It's like you don't realize how much in pain you're in until you're out of it. And then you look back and go, holy moly, that was, wow, that was a lot of pain. And some people, now this is a very interesting thing that comes up and it, you, you said something that kind of sparked my, my thought about it. And that is, there's a lot of people that want to hold on to their pain. Yeah. They, they, they say here, there, here is, here's my pain. Here's my pain. Take it away. Tell me how to fix it. And then they start fighting with you. They don't really want a, well, I, I have to keep that painting that looks like a dead woman because my mother gave it to me or I painted it or, and, and it's interesting how uh, a lot of times people will, will resist giving up that thing that's, that's creating difficulties. And so it's, it's, it's not only that you, um, that you make shifts in, in a home, but you have to, those shifts start occurring up here too. And if you can move things enough, that that, that person will go along. But sometimes there are people that just don't, they they want things to change but they don't want to change right and that's amazing because they keep attracting like the same guy with a different name and it's like because you're not shifting the energy and you just are stuck there and that's yes. why women get in abusive relationships and they tend to stay in those because that's what they're used to we're all about shifting the energy baby let's let's talk about a little bit about what you got going on because you have a lot going on and anytime you guys want to know um i've got all that information what i did katie i had the nap bar up and then i closed it down because we really want to focus on those people that want to do some one-on-one -on -one training with you remember you don't have to be a consultant but by the end of this training you can and will be and you'll have all the tools one of the greatest things that you do katie is you give them templates and a checklist Nothing worse than getting really the feng shui bug excited and do the work like I'm one. I show up for classes. I read everything and then have no direction. I've never really understood that because feng shui is about flow and organization and order. And so when people would teach classes and then they just left people like they have no idea how to do a consultation on my yeah, that's not really an alignment. Maybe look for another teacher. <laughs> so you give them everything and you help them kind of customize it because it's different for everybody. Yeah, I mean, Minnesotans have more split levels. It's cold yes. up here. You know, you yeah. don't have split levels in Texas. 
that's one thing I noticed. But the soil's different. What do you guys, you don't have tornadoes like we do, and it doesn't get 40 below. So, yeah, you're pretty much. <laughs> we do get tornadoes. Yeah, no, you do. Oh, you even get snow. What the heck? What? <laughs> you even get snow sometimes. What's well, going you know, on? The panhandle goes all the way up into Colorado's backside. So, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> and we actually have a lot of people go, oh, well, Texas has everything except mountains. I'm like, oh, no, we have mountains 11,000 feet high. Yeah, you haven't driven from and Dallas to El Paso. There's mountains, people, and there's tumbleweeds, too. And that's what you pray for tumbleweed to go by as you're driving that 700 miles or whatever when oh, you thought it was yes. just. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, Whoa. no, I, I, I'll, I'll tell you my pick of, of uh, between tornadoes and hurricanes. I'll take a hurricane any day of the week. Tornadoes. It's a, and you guys have basements. That's another thing that we don't have, or typically, except up in you know, like um, from Waco North, uh, where there's more tornadoes. We do. But, I think Oklahoma uh, needs basement just because they seem to always get hit. But things are shifting and changing, guys, and that's what feng shui is about: movement. Everything's always shifting and how you can live the best life, the healthiest life in all areas of your life. So Katie's got lots of stuff going on. I interview her here and there. You know, I get bored. Katie wants to do an interview. <laughs> something special. But she's having something fun. And I'm a person who likes to prepare in advance. I don't like last minute anything. So you got something going on in September. And that's coming snappity snap quick and awesome i can't believe it's 2017 let alone may may i know i i think i was just you know carving a pumpkin <laughs> you know, <laughs> and now here we are you know the easter bunny's hopped away Memorial day is coming yeah it, it, september's coming and uh the i know i just can't get over how fast this year has flown past uh i'm glad that you mentioned too about about, about steps one of the things that happened to me when I, I did training in feng shui was, it was very much like my, the way my dad taught me to swim. When I was three years old, he picked me up underneath my arm, walked down to the end of the deep end of the pool and dropped me in. Not cool. And most of the time, that's the training that you get. You basically, it's either none or just thrown into the deep end. And that's something that to me, I, I know some people, I, I've heard some comments, negative comments, a couple of negative comments about you focus too much about money. And it's like, look, if I don't make money, number one, if I don't make money, how can I advise you about your finances and becoming wealthy? If I'm not making money, then I, one, I look like a big hypocrite. Number and it's two, the number one thing y'all ask for whenever I do a survey, you want money and you want love. And then I guess maybe help. <laughs> Swear to God, this is the truth. The other it is true. Is, I'm so glad you brought that up because we are the ones who shut down all our wealth and abundance. And that's what feng shui is about. So you better have somebody who wants to help you because when you have money, you're not stressing about bills. You're able to send your kids to a private school. You can take all the training you want. You can gift people with training. You don't have to worry. You can fly and get there and stay in a hotel room instead of be checking prices. Money's a good thing. It's how you use it and how you think about it. We call it abundance and all good blessings anyway. There you go. I like that. That's an... And that really is it. I, the, the point is, though, I want feng shui to spread. And if somebody's successful, they'll keep, their, they'll keep doing their business, and that will spread more feng shui. Yep. So I think we can, you know, we could take over the world one house at a time. But I really want to create a change in women's lives by helping them create a business out of doing something that they love and 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 spreading that out in in a way that helps others and makes them a living too there's nothing wrong with making money and there's no, nothing because i'll tell you the dalai lama has a cell phone bill to pay i guarantee you 
And you know what? It's like, and to me, there's never competition. That's why I like about it because there's so many different things. Like I said, you can do, maybe you just really get into crystals. Well, there's all kinds of things you can do just with crystals and feng shui. You can make jewelry and feng shui. You can have a clothing line in feng shui. You can do consultations and lay floor plans out. You can do analysis and help people understand their families better and their business partners or the people they do business with. It's like endless what you can do. To me, it should be in school. It should be part of, you go to anatomy, you go to feng shui. There you go. I love that. Well, I, I would enroll in that university. I, would too. <laughs> I think we did enroll in that, didn't we? Yeah, I think we just might have one coming up. We're just going to launch our own, guys. That's what we're kind of doing with Momentum U. It's like, well, we'll create our own university. So, <laughs> it's, I, I, it's, I can't imagine. I think about you right now and you're, you're having to handle some of your parents' health issues. You need to be there for them. When I worked for a living at a job, I had to beg for time off. Yes. And I had, and, and that infuriated me, especially when I was there weekend after weekend, night after night, it just infuriated me. I'm like, when I need time off, I need time off. And it, bugged me that I had to go ask somebody after putting in all this other time. I asked exactly. them. Exactly. Now exactly. I, I, my sister just had to get approval, even though she's got like 750 hours of sick time she's never taken, to come up and help me with a 90 and 88 year old that both have health issues right now and I'm one person. And if I wouldn't have, I told Katie, the greatest thing is that because I've done feng shui, I have things already recorded. So it's like, well, I'll just relaunch that and that'll pay this bill so I don't have to worry because I couldn't even live stream last week. I, I know I live stream. I don't really want to watch it. Not my best, but I did it. And then well, I like, hey, <laughs> imperfect and done is better than perfect and never released. Right. So and it was Arbor Day and I'm all about planting trees, people. So I had to do it. And what you think is bad, really, other people like. Like, you'll go, I didn't really teach them anything, and that somebody will send you a message. Best interview ever. You kept everything so simple. And it's like, did I say anything? Really? Awesome. I'm glad you like it. Exactly. That's what it is to me is I believe feng shui is common sense. And that's why I fell in love with it. Because it totally made sense to me. But it wasn't like there's a cookie cutter, and there's so much to learn. But the biggest thing that I did gifted myself is I always studied with an expert. I always had a mentor and I still do because that's the biggest thing is you, there weren't books people before this came to America, feng shui. There's not a book a thousand years ago that has a bagua in it and it's explaining the five elements. Didn't happen. So you really want to get somebody who knows what they're talking about. And I tell you, when you're an enthusiast, you get so excited and then you have nobody to ask. You're like, well, oh. and that's what I love about community because we all stick together. Once you become friends in this community, your students, I betcha, some of them have known each other, what, five, 10 years now. Oh, yes. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be uh, doing some special recognition because I have people who come back every year without fail. And I'm going to be um, uh, recognizing the people that return for five years and because I have so many of them. And it's because, you know, Brittany, it's like when you're in that bubble, that little feng shui bubble, it is so, it's, it's all about possibility. It's, there's nobody saying, oh, well, you can't do that and don't go over there and this isn't right and blah, blah, blah. You know, there's no, it's all about what is possible. And, and how you can affect change, how you can affect uh, the positive things that you want in your life. And, and that is such a beautiful place to be in. When we look at the world and when we turn on the news and we hear, you can't, and this is bad, and this is wrong, and this didn't pass, and this didn't work. And, you know, it's, it's so beautiful to be in that experience. Uh, I, I, I can't say enough about just having that kind of company and, and you know katie how many people are out there trying to figure out what they want to do with their lives and, I'm gonna and they're 50. the greatest thing about having feng shui is i didn't want to just be feng shui and i mm -hmm. love to interview people so after you interview so many people then pretty soon people think you don't know anything it's like well no i know a whole lot because i interviewed all those people plus i did the studies but what i found i really enjoyed was because you know i'm geeky 
which numbers, guys, in sacred geometry, is I really am an intuitive business and action coach, but I use the tools of feng shui and organization to assist people because I can help them have their offices organized. I can give them checklists because that's a way we, and we know different people study different. You know, I'm a wood element. I'm not the same as a water element. It's like, come on, get off the inner tube. Let's go chop some wood. <laughs> I almost yeah. got a job because I wanted to do physical labor. People are like, you're so weird. And I go, no, I'm my element. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I, I totally get you. I'm a doer. You know, that's a wood person. Wood people are doers. They, they want to do it. And the process of doing it helps us to learn. People that are water people, yeah. that the, the water element relates to the ear. They want, they're audio learners a lot of times. I want to touch on something that you just said a moment ago. Oh, nuts. What was that? It was, um, oh, shoot. You were just talking about um, learning. And uh, so, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, the, the That's all right, but we all do learn different because I, and you just described me as I have to do it. You can show me all day long. I can take notes all day long. But if I do it one time, I get it. And like in the restaurant industry, and I knew this, just like on a test, I would, I would beg teachers for quizzes because if I got it wrong, I got it right the next time. But a water element wants to listen. Fire, they want to see things too. So look at how you can help your children by understanding feng shui. Oh, I love that. That's such a great, that's a, it's an absolutely great way to look at it because, uh, you know, it, it, well, it just rolls out everywhere. It yeah. really does. And like, if you have coworkers that are difficult to get along with or employees, looking at their element and understanding how can I communicate with them better? Maybe I need to send them a, a, a report, something paper that they can look at and see maybe they're, because they're visual, or maybe I need to just have a conversation. Yeah, it's, uh, it, there's some fantastic stuff. I love that because then you understand them just like this human design thing. It's like feng shui too. It has the I Ching in it and it yeah. really loves stories. So here's a story and, and like the wood elements are the um, generators. Well, think about that. That's kind That's of- That's me, I'm a four qua. Right, and so, and I'm a three. So it's like, we're the ones I go, this isn't fair because this other girl's a projector where she's like kind of like a water element. Mm -hmm. And she's like, here we are. It's like, we're planting the fields and we're watering them and we're picking all the fruit and starting the fire and cooking dinner. And she's like, you know, oh, she has to have a nap in the meantime, curled up next to the fire. And if you don't invite them, then they feel bad. And we're like, whatever, we got work to do. It, it, by knowing your element, you know, I love it because I love to study these other things and they, it, they all go right hand in hand. I'm like, eat change. And human design, and I said it was another level of feng shui. So feng shui isn't just laying a floor plan out. I think we need to talk about that. It isn't just laying a floor plan out and that's it. That is the basics so we can understand the energy right. impacting you. Yeah, no, there's, it's like an onion. La, la, layer, 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 layer. I know what I was thinking of. You said in common sense. It's a lot of... But here's, and I love this when clients tell me this. Oh, well, that's just common sense. And when you make a suggestion, I go, it's so common you weren't doing it. <laughs> it's like, yes, it is common. You, you would think that some things are, we see them and we go, well, yeah, of course, you know, but other people like, well, yeah, I guess so. That is common sense. But it's, it's sort of, I call it the, uh, the feng shui blindness. It's oh. like, it's like the mayonnaise, when you're looking for the mayonnaise in the refrigerator, you open the door, it's smack in front of you, but you don't see it and you're moving stuff around and you just don't see it. It's Where's my glasses? Where are they? They're on your face. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yep. You know so, what I love about it is just by understanding feng shui, you live a better life in business, period. Because you see things from a different perspective. You see through feng shui eyes like, I just did Feng Shui Friday. James did one on Earth Day and I did Arbor Day. And what we were talking about is go walk your property and look at your trees. That's Feng Shui, guys. That's exterior Feng Shui. And by doing that, I knew I had one choke cherry tree that has fungus. And if I don't get that taken care of, 
all my choke cherry trees will have it. And if I wouldn't have done my own class, my own live stream, I would not have known. And so that tells you a lot. It, you know, you know, Werner is probably one of my favorites on electromagnetic fields and all that. It's bombarding you. You're not sleeping. There's a reason for it. So let's talk yeah, that about big, that big, uh, uh, that big alarm clock with the red numbers. <laughs> You know, I just came from the cities. I took my dad down there to get um, University of Minnesota here has really, um, it's less expensive, like 60% less for, and you know, either 90. So it's like, let's save all the cash we can. And we were sitting in traffic and I looked at my dad and I go, dad, this was me. This was me sitting in this traffic every day, driving two hours to work, frustrated, irritated people. And then I'm a number. So I had one knucklehead, he got a raise, we get a new boss, and all of a sudden he's like, oh, you're, you're late for work. But his office was in the back, and we had been there half an hour, got the coffee made, cleaned everything, but he sat with his little stopwatch, and I was a number, click. If you're one minute late again, well, I don't work for, I don't like that. I didn't like sitting in traffic, so then I'm a numbers person. I'm like, two hours a day or maybe up to four, but we'll say two, five days a week, that's 10 hours. Oh my God, yeah, 500 and some hours a week, uh, a year, I'm sitting in traffic, and then they're in charge of everything. So I get to work the holidays, I never get to go to events, and they don't care about me, then they just, you're up, oh, you're replaceable, we'll get somebody cheaper in here. No way, man, no it's way. It's amazing how you amortize your life like that. How many hours am I sitting in the car? How much life am I losing? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, what, uh, speaking of doing analysis, one of the things that I wanted to just kind of touch on about, uh, about women in particular is that we have a tendency to get in like an analysis paralysis where we just spin in our mind, well, there's this and there's that. And one of the things that it's really important that, for me, a goal of mine at my class is to get everybody out of off of that wheel. Mm -hmm. And my and my doer that I am, I, I push them to do feng shui, to work on. It. Let's look at floor plans. Let's address this. Let's come up with an analysis. What's going on here? Why is this woman single all the time? Why does she always have problems with their relationship? Why is this person's health uh, failing? And, and, and to get them into doing, because that's where confidence comes. Right. I see so many wonderfully trained, capable, caring, and very competent women who get stuck in, I don't know enough, or I, who am I to say, uh, to tell someone to do something? How can I actually go out and do this? And to me, it's, it's, we, I take it as a big purpose of mine to get women to avoid hiding their light under a bucket. And no one's, you're not going to cause someone to drive off a cliff. You know, you're just not. Uh, I, I know that there are capable women who, and capable feng shui consultants out there, but we're, they're afraid to try. And confidence is an issue. And feng shui enthusiasts that take every free training, show up at events. I mean, I have thousands of hours of free training I know people have watched. But they're oh. afraid to go to that next level. Yes. The part where they actually have to put themselves out a lot. I get actually a lot of extensively trained feng shui consultants who have, who have the, there's a belief at which you can't, you can't read and train to ride a bicycle. At some point, you got to get on the bike. Do it. And you've got to have, and you've got to have that confidence in yourself that, okay, I'm enough. And I'm at the point where I have this good foundation and knowledge. I, I can go and do this. And that's a big, that's a big driver for me. We were all afraid to do it. If you think we went to our first 20 consults or 50 consults and we weren't freaking out going, don't give them too much information, but you got to give enough information. 
I don't want to hurt their feelings. And then after a while, it's like, you know what? Don't worry about it at all. I know my stuff. It's locked. The bog was locked in here. I've been doing all the work I need to do. I'm connected to source. I'm going to get insight. And you just go and you just know. And let me tell you, the eyeballs, when they you ask a question, they're like, oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, that's Jack. And you're like, hmm. So I personally don't like going to people's homes. I did that in Dallas. I did it all the time. Wasn't my thing. Now, some people, absolutely, that's their cup of tea. I like doing them remote like this. I, I, love, I love teaching feng shui, common sense feng shui to people, you know, about just the things to get you started and do different programs like that. Like I'll have a class or I'll have a program or I'll have a coaching thing. So you can do whatever you want. Like I said, 99% of it is the same. Classic. I studied classic. Once again, it's common sense. You know, the elements are the elements, people. So let's talk a little bit about what, what we got going on. Because first it's Cinco de Mayo, which is a fun time. That's a fire element to me because of the music and the dancing and the <laughs> microphones. And the tacos. Oh, my God. You don't even know. I almost tore off the road i saw a taco truck in minnesota i'm like oh, taco truck! because i mean texas and I, I mean homemade everything and there there's one i said guys i'm not trying to brag but it's in a gas station it's at a 45 and 35 in dallas and they make homemade chile oh i've heard about that place oh my god girl oh, i would go over once a week and day. take yes. orders homemade tortillas and they're whipping it up it's just they got this little thing right by the gas station Okay. I hear I, hear, I grew up in San Antonio, so I, I was raised on Tex-Mex in the Tex-Mex capital. My friends know they need to bring tamales when they come visit and tortillas, homemade tortillas, or yeah. I, you don't get to go to the cabin and ride in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> so you better have them in your suitcase. I'm checking them, man. Oh, too funny. Oh, that's awesome. That's oh, awesome. Well, you know, if people come down... If people come to my class in Austin, they're going to have, they'll have plenty of opportunities for tacos and Tex-Mex. Yeah, that I would go just for the food, to be honest. Plus, it's beautiful down there. So let's talk about it a little bit. I'm going to do a screen share, and I'll pull that screen up so we can talk about what you got going on, lady. Okay. Okay, there's Katie, guys. You guys, this is the um, Feng Shui Friday page, and everything's under MomentumU.online. So this one is forward slash FSF for Feng Shui Friday, and it talks a little bit about Katie. If you want more information on her, um, you can really just Google her name. She's got pages of stuff. This is the call we're doing today. So let's talk. It's called the Red Lotus Master Consult Course, or MCC, and it's September. 14th through the 16th in Austin, Texas. Yeah. And if that's going to be a beautiful time of year down there anyway. So let's a little bit warm, but we'll have a good time. Warm, warm. beautiful. September, we could have snow. <laughs> well, I guarantee you we have hot temperatures, uh, you know, in the 90s, upper 90s in September. So it's pretty warm. But that's, hey, like I said, it, you don't have to scrape heat off the windshield, and it's nothing that a margarita can't cure. So <laughs> it's uh, heat, it never bothers me. And I exactly agree with that. So one thing I want to show you guys is she's very taught this before, like eight or nine years now. Um, and I'm actually glad you're not in Vegas because I just think Texas, you know, I, was, I lived in Texas, and y'all need to just go down there and eat the food. And the people are awesome. So it's a fun place to go. But what I like is it doesn't matter if you've been studying and following somebody. Like if you followed me for years, you're still going to learn a whole lot. And it's not going to be like, wait, Brittany said this, but she, this is what Katie said. Because five, five elements is five elements. So yes. this is for beginning and on up. Uh, and actually, we love people that really have no training because then they don't have bad habits. <laughs> So let's talk about the three days. They're packed with information, but you're walking around making sure people understand it. You're not standing up there lecturing, right? Oh, gosh, no. We have a lot of hands-on. Thanks for asking. We have a lot of hands-on work because, uh, again, uh, 
we're doers and I'm a doer and I want everybody at that course to be a doer too. The other thing that we do is I have, I call them host coaches and the host coaches will come and talk with you individually. So everybody gets, if you've got a question or you need somebody to have eyes on what you're working on, we've got people there to do it. I can't be uh, with every all 60 people all at once, uh, but I, I make my way around the room. We do a lot of hands-on work and with examples. I give you templates. You have checklists. Uh, oh, I want to show, can I show my binder? I want to show. Yeah, what? Show yeah. us what you got going on because people love to have organization. Hold tight. Hold tight, Hold people. Tight. And you're looking here as you can see that it's fun shui, not fun shui, that they have a fun time because life was meant to be fun and that's why we do fun shui so we're not stressed out. You know, I want it to be a good time. I want attendees to feel like uh, they're part of a community, that, that they're appreciated, that I, that I show my appreciation in the surroundings, in their food, in their attention that they get. This is my binder. Can you see this? This weighs five pounds. And it's all organized by, with the agenda, the days, and then here's the big thing. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. Here's the big thing, is over here in the appendix, I have all my resources, everything that I use personally, whether it's I have examples, I have consultation reports in there, I have every resource that I use. Where do I get business cards? Where do I have my website done? How do I find graphics to put on my website? Where do I find um, uh, resources to help me draw floor plans? All of that is in my binder. You get so much information that uh, you you can, you, you'll use that binder. Anybody that, that takes this seriously, and actually starts applying it, we'll use that, we'll go back to it and refer to it over and over and over. I have, uh, I have uh, attendees from the past who said, you know, they're, they've got dog ears, they have all little sticky notes in it, and uh, I'm very proud of that because I'm not a stand up and just talk at you right. kind of, this is not a talk at you class. You get everything that I'm presenting, all the information, plus everybody gets the recordings too. So if you, you are an audio learner, you can go back and listen to it. So I make sure, I always say, when you come to my table, you are not leaving hungry. You aren't gonna be getting, you know how you go to those fancy restaurants and they have the giant white plates and this little tiny bit of food? I just went to a shishi place in Mexico, yeah. stayed at a shishi resort, and that's exactly, we go to the fine dining or whatever, and here comes this giant plate with this little bitty serving of something. And, and it's like, um, we, my husband and I were starving. We ended up ordering room service after dinner. Two peas and a half a carrot. It's like, excuse me? Exactly. And so that doesn't you, happen at my class. You right here in this hungry. class, you can see where the students are not packed in the tables. You don't have like, I hate going to those conferences. And you, you can't even move your elbow to elbow. And they're charging you, you know. Three thousand dollars plus your flight and everything else, and then you get no attention at all. I'm looking at it. Looks like you have maybe six people most that you would set at four, four per table. Yeah, that's the that way you One, two, three, four. That at the at, we just I don't do that. I I don't want you rammed in. See how this this woman here. She's totally spread out. She's got stuff everywhere. Floor plans. The her binder. I want you to work. You're not coming there to just sit there and, and get your little bag and your little badge and go, well, I sat for three days and had somebody talk at me. Well, you no, know, no. Katie, <laughs> you that's way though. You have to have out the five elements. You have to have out a bar. I mean, you have to have the tools to do it. It's not just one thing. So that's why you need space. So you get hands on and not just from you, but people you have personally trained that yes. to be there and help out. Plus, like I said, it's just fun going to Austin. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, it's a good, I'm glad you raised that about you. One of the things that I, I talk to clients a lot about is you have to have room to grow. 
I believe that about my about my training at the class. I don't want people rammed in so that they can't move or they can't they can't spread some stuff out. We have to have space to grow as consultants, as feng shui devotees. You know, yes. however it is you want to use your feng shui training, it's and your knowledge. It's you've got to have room to grow. So there's room to grow at at the conference. So guys, I will send an email out. It's also under the events where you can click and it's going to take you to this page. It is my affiliate link. We promote each other. That's a business and we want you all to understand that this is a business. This is how we make money. I make money teaching feng shui and being a feng shui consultant. I make money when I promote people I believe are good at what they do. That's what Katie is. I have no qualms or fear about sending anyone to a classical feng shui. What do you resonate with? Everybody has what they resonate with. And I know she's great at what she does. And she has a special right now where you can save 500 bucks. It goes to, I believe, Tuesday, the main night. Yes. So let's go down here and look at the pricing because that's where we're interested. But guys, you can go to the event page. There'll be a link there. I'll send an email out and it's also on the feng shui page. Oh, isn't that pretty? I know. Pretty awesome. You'll Everybody be deep in the heart. <laughs> deep yeah. in the heart of feng shui this time. Yeah. If you haven't been to Austin, you really need to go because it is just a really fun center point for like I have so many friends that when I was in Dallas they were kids going to college and now they're there so yeah go to Austin okay let's look at some prices here girlfriend hey Joe thanks for popping in buddy I love my high school friends that pop in and support oh that's awesome they're probably going wow is she talking about now little missy the moon is a uh, full moon no <laughs> okay here's the pricing guys if you want to jump in right away so the early bird is four days and nine hours she's got a countdown timer and you can either make five payments of 305 or a one-time payment so here's the pricing schedule $14.97. After that, which will be next Wednesday, it goes up to $19.97. And after that, on August 12th, you're going to pay the full price option of $24.97. So if you're thinking about it, I would just jump right in. And like I said, you can have fun like Katie and I, bad. We're working right now, Katie, aren't we? Absolutely. Yes. Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is my job. I love it. I can't imagine doing anything else. You know, I, I like I, all I can tell anybody who's on the fence is if you thought that you've wanted to do this for some time and you're thinking, well, if I'm going to do this as a business, this is the class for you to be in. We're going to, we're going to talk about how to develop your unique niche and get you going so that, but if you want to use it because you just want a better life, or you want to get married or your health can improve, we can help you do that too. Business expense, business expense, yes. people. That's something I think a lot of entrepreneurs don't have a handle on finances as they don't understand. That is education. That is a business expense. Get yourself an accountant. They will take all the pressure off of you and save you a lot of money. But she's going to attack money, guys, because that's what it's about. It's a business. Unless you don't want to be a business, it's, you, you still want money, don't you? <laughs> well, because you are a business, Brenny, you're getting the word about feng shui out. Yeah. And to me, that is one of the best things that I've enjoyed about my job is that I've helped people who've written, I had a woman who sent an email, desperate. She was from uh, the UK and her son was being bullied mercilessly. And I, I told my assistant, get her on, get her number right now, I'm calling her. The woman was shocked. The, first of all, that I would even answer an email. I didn't answer an email, I called her. Right. I, I wanna help you. It gives you the opportunity because I do a business, I can make those calls and I can do free work and I can, I, I contribute to World Wildlife Fund monthly. I can do those things to help others and, and do donations to support causes that are important to me and, and, and still in my business help others as well. But that's what is so beautiful about having good feng shui 
having your own business like we're able to do and be here on a beautiful Friday afternoon at 3 p.m. It's a movement. We're creating our own movements. We all have our own little way that we're doing our movement, but that's what it's all yeah. about. I'm using the tools of feng shui because I'm very passionate about people finding what their purpose is on, on the planet. And because I believe when you find your purpose, you're never working. And I don't even like that word work. And so you're never working and you enjoy what you do. And that's how all the pieces fall together. But when you understand who you are, that I'm never going to be my sister. I'm never going to be that quiet, withdrawn, want to work in a medical field, count pills person. That's not who I am. So it actually validated to me who I was. It gave me permission to be me because I'm like, oh no, that's me. That's right. I'm the thunder trigram. I'm the loudest natural sound. <laughs> and I got ideas all the time. So to me, I just love it because it's helping me create a movement and a mission. And I can do feng shui appointments because I have the education or I don't have to. I can use it any way I want. I can just teach live streams. You can do it from anywhere, Katie, and no one can say different because I live in a town of farmer, fishermen, and lumberjacks. <laughs> and I went from Dallas, Texas, where it was, wow, this is easy. And then I went, oh, what am I going to do? There's ways to do it anywhere you're at. Anywhere. Ready? I started in the corner of my upstairs hallway. I swear to God, it was four feet wide and two feet deep, and I had a little $69 computer desk. And here's, here, here's the big one. You were in Big D. I was in Little C. I was in this little town called Cuero, and there's 5,000 people and 250,000 cows. There were more cows than people. I was in a cow pasture in a hallway <laughs> corner, and that's where I started my business. And everybody told me, you can't do a business from little town in South Texas. And I said, I most certainly can. I have feng shui on my side. I'll make my own economy. I'll oh yeah, they'll pull the Bible belt down. You can't do feng shui in the Bible belt. And it's like, why? It's about energy. Have you heard of a guy named Tesla? He kind of got it, guys. Frequency, vibration, energy everything is that so you can do it anywhere it's how you want to do it some people don't want to be face to face they may want to remotely do consults for people and send in type up analysis that's not me i'm like quick let's do it record it there's your recording and there's your floor plan oh i like teaching five elements i'm gonna do a class on that you can sell crystals i can believe you there's plenty of people who buy Swarovski crystals, and if you understand how to move energy and what color and what crystals go where, there's a whole business. You can have jewelry. You can be on QVC. So if you're yeah. thinking about it at all, what's the easiest way for them to get a hold of you? Gosh, they can just send me an email, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, at redlotusletter.com, and I will get back to you personally. She really will. I do. So, if you have questions, let us know. Put them in the comments under the events. We will for sure get back to you. I'll send the replay link out. And um, remember, guys, we do these live streams. If you want Katie back on, if you want to learn something, Feng Shui Friday. Haven't decided on the time, kind of feeling that out um, by how many people show up and how much you like them. But you're always wanting to know about Feng Shui, so that's why we started them. And then we put the experts in front of you. If you want to follow her further, it's really simple to do. You're just going to click on all those links I told you about or wait for that email. But just go to the event page on Facebook, Momentum You, and you will see the button. Click on it and you come and go through all this. It's very detailed on what's going on. You don't have to worry. You're going to show up and have a really good time. So I'm going to end the Facebook live stream. Thanks to all of you that popped in and out. Share it out. Appreciate you so much. Bingo. And then we're going to end the Zoom live webinar, which will go on YouTube and go on Google Plus and uh, go on Twitter and then goes on the website. So there you go, guys. Thanks for showing up. If you got questions, get that early bird special. So how many days is that? Today's Friday? Four days. Sunday, like four days. Four people at a table? Four days. And, and I'm just... If you follow, if you follow numerology, tomorrow is an eight day oh. for business. Sign up tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's a great day to sign up. And I don't care. The number four is wealth and abundance. I know they say it's death, but I change that vibration to money. 
Me too. I'm a four quad. You know I love four. I know she's a four quad and I'm a three. So yeah, I know. I'm like she's We're like it. You little, little baby wood. You better listen to me. I'm a four. You're just a little baby wood. <laughs> oh, I know. All new ideas. Yeah, you know that you know me so well too. It's like they're burning a so I'm going to end this recording. We appreciate you showed up. Dolores, if you want to stay on and ask questions, you can pop back on. You're more than welcome to do that. But I'm stopping this recording. And thank you, Kitty. As thank always. you.